So, hey guys, it's just the crafter coming with a quick um, Dollar Tree haul. I feel like it's quick, but it's not that quick. I know it's a lot of stuff, so yeah, I got two bags on the floor. I'm waiting. So, the first thing I want to show you guys is um, these toys. They're from Hot Wheels. Um, I got five. It says it's supposed to use the coast. It's supposed to collect eight of them. Um, some of them show just um, one, two, three, one through eight, one through five. And um, yeah, so a few of them in the back of them have different numbers of to complete the collection. More of them have more than, than others. So I grabbed these because I thought these were amazing. But before I show you the... Um, no, yeah, I'm going to show you that first. So I have these. They're Hot Wheels Disney Pixar Lightyear. Um, I guess they're Curlab. This says base utility vehicle. Um, that's what this one says, base utility vehicle. I have looked them up. They range from... Uh, from $6.95 all the way to $19.95. That's even at Walmart. Walmart was the highest I seen it at. So yeah. So and that's for the whole collection that I have. Um separately, that's how much it'll cost. So do the math how much you'll spend all together. And I only paid a dollar twenty-five. So I thought that was great. These are gonna go in my collection now to put away. So this one is the base utility vehicle from Disney Pixar Lightyear. Um, I only grabbed the ones I saw. Um, when I went back today, they didn't have anything. And that was two days ago. So um, I got this on Wednesday. Um, the first bag is all from Wednesday. And then the bag that I'm doing after that is the bag from today that I got everything today. Which was crazy that I it was only two days. Today's Friday. I went Wednesday and they didn't have anything that I saw um, other than a few items they did have, just a few items they did, but not everything. Like the toys were gone, um, snacks were gone, drinks were gone, um, food stuff that they have in the freezers were gone, and they had to stack them on Wednesday. And my friend told me, oh, we're getting shipment tonight, so I have to come back tonight to put everything out. So by tomorrow there'll be more stuff but they're not going to be able to put everything out because they're short staffed as well so and it's so crazy they got to break it down in so many ways but that was that one that i showed you and then this one is the l le a i don't know what that is i'm not gonna attempt it but it is another spaceship that apparently was in the movie so yeah I grabbed that. Then the other one is, I'm not doing them by order, by anyways, they're, I'm not doing them by order. This one is the XL15. Um, it is a, I guess it's like a flyer jet, so I thought that was cool. This one's number one. The other one I showed you before this one was number five. And then number four was the first one that I showed. Then this one is number three. And this one is Z Zerg Zerg Fighter Ship. So this is the bad evil guy ship. They, had a, they only have one or two of these left. And they were missing one, five, one, five. And I think they had every other one though. And there was only one left of these. So I grabbed that one. And that one is number three. And then this one is number two. And this one is the XL01. So again, it looks like a little fighter ship. of uh, Like the stormtroopers type of thing. So yeah, I grabbed that. So I grabbed all five of those that I saw that they had in the collection. I thought those were great. Because for that the price that they sell them for, it's a great find. And I don't know if you guys remember, but my cup from Marshalls, from that haul I did with everything on clearance, I'm finally using it. So, okay. Then I saw that they had 
They still had the blue um, book bags, the little with the little anchor on it. See, these will be great for boys, but the only thing is I don't like that it says Kendall and Kylie, Kylie on it, Kendall and Kylie. So I don't like that. Um, if I was, you know, someone else, I would just suggest to like, you know, not do that the next time they're branding because so it could be used for both girl and boy. But I thought these were cute with the little anchor. And then I thought to myself, oh my God, how cute would it be if my niece got a little sailor's outfit and then she's got the little anchor book bag and she's got her little cap on her head with, you know, the little sailor hat. That would be so cute for the summer, for the summer on the boat trip. Or, you know, just taking her out. I just, I thought that was cool. I thought that was cute. So, I grabbed two of those. Um, and do have the other ones put away. Um, and then, they had Easter stuff out, guys. They already had Easter stuff out. And I was so mind blown about all the Easter stuff that they had. I couldn't contain myself. So, and I definitely have more of these. Um, I gave some to my mom. Um, I might post up the video of one of the ones she just did that I already gave her the other day. So, um, which I, I think it was yesterday. I gave it to her yesterday. So, I'm going to um, probably post that here so you guys can see how she did it. Um, I grabbed these. And these are like little signs that if you want to put a stick in the back of them, okay, you want to put a little stick in the back of them, you could put a stick on the back of it. And then put it in your backyard. I'm sorry, I was reading something. And you could put it in your backyard with the little steak cook on the back. So I thought that was great. And it's called a reef rail a reef rail so this is that it has a name okay so it has a reef it says reef nail uh, uh reef rail and it is from crafter square and it has a bunny and it says nine inches by ten inches so i thought that's great that they has the how many how big it is and everything for me i don't have to go guessing and measuring for you guys then i grabbed these these with the little um, bunny booty and the ears and the little... I'm sorry. I'm, I got hiccups for a second. Okay. So, <laughs> so this one has a little cottontail booty and the little ears and everything. I grabbed um, whatever I can find of these. Again, when I went to today, they didn't have any. And I'm like so upset, but I was... I already knew these were going to go just because there was other people there and they were talking about what they were going to do with them and they, those were great finds and that these were going to be great for their FC shops and um, for Easter baskets and everything else. So again, it shows you here and this is 10 inches by 10.25 inches. So I thought that was amazing for a size. It shows the bunny tail um, painted in white and then the little... Um, back of the paws are little pink dots and stuff like that so yeah i grabbed that and then i also grabbed i grabbed this one with the bunny um the bunny truck so i thought those were cute and these are 6.4 inches by 10 inches so these are so cute um you can incorporate this with the wreath you can incorporate that like i said you could put it on your plot you can have a little steak on the back of it put that make sure you take the proper um procedures and do the proper procedures to put them outside for all weather for the rain and for everything like that um and that way you know they'll, they'll last longer so yeah they'll last a little longer um then i finally found these um standard essential microfiber fan dusters so as you can see in the picture 
you put it in between the fan and you just wipe it with, and you put this on a broomstick and it does the work for you. You don't even have to get up on that thing. You don't have to even have the mess of having it everywhere. They had a few of these there. I grabbed two because I don't know if these are machine washable or not. Um, they seem like they're metal and I don't think I can screw them off. So I don't think these are, are washable. So yeah, so that's why I grabbed the two. But I will be going to get replacements and having them around so when they're in a way where I don't like how they look anymore, I can get rid of them. So, yeah. But right now, I just grabbed the two. And then um, they had these... Um, I have these... GRX Comfort Fit Performance Ladies Medium. This is the only size I saw, and I was like, you know what? A medium is okay. It's not too big, it's not too small. These are really good uh, material of gloves. This says L LW451 Ladies Work Wear All Season Flexible Fit Full Hand breathe Breathability. Um Construction, building material, general tool work, and outdoor work. So like gardening. So I thought these were great because I've seen these in like Home Depot and they're more than $1.25. So yeah, so I grabbed two pairs to have in backup and an extra. Then um, I grab these every time I see them because I think this is a great find when you see these, um, especially when they're a, br a brand name. These are gl Glade um, Car Essential um, Air uh, Fresheners. It says Auto Care Auto 4 Packs. This one is Vanilla Passion Fruit, and then I have one that says Warm Leather. I actually like the warm uh, leather. Um, I grabbed two packs of each, but I gave uh, the other two, the other packs to my sister um, since they do bring four. I always grab extras and I always make sure that I have one for her. I found another smell today, um, but they only had the one and they didn't have it the last time. So maybe I just overseen it or they didn't even have it and then they put it out and then I missed out on it, but um, yeah, I I definitely just grabbed these two flavors. Um, like I said, they're four, they're four in here. Um, I usually put one in the bathroom hanging, uh, one in my daughter's room, one around the living room, um, and things like that. It keeps the rooms and it keeps the air when the fans are on uh, smelling great. Um, again, I do do my own air freshener for the house, so... I spray my um, my curtains and my air freshener is just basically the Dawn softening, um, a little bit of water and um, some alcohol. If not some alcohol, a little bit of um, uh, Lysol disinfectant, just a little cap full and you throw it in there and then you mix it with the everything else and it makes your house smell so great and it lasts long so yeah that's my little trick um then i found these um eyelash case with mirror okay so i thought this was great because i sometimes tend to take off my eyelashes when I'm out, <laughs> when I do my eyelashes. I know that sounds so weird and it sounds so bad, but I do. I tend to take them off and then you see a little bit of the glue, but mine's I do clear glue. So I just rub it off a little bit and it comes off or a little bit of a, a wipe and I'm done and it comes right off. So it's not a big deal. Um, I don't do it with the black mascara and all of that. So it doesn't, um, affect me for when I take it off so it's okay and if I have a little bit of eyeshadow um it's okay I'll just wipe off one eye and then I, since I have to wipe the other one it's the same thing so it doesn't really bother me when I'm out it's not a big deal um for other people it might be but for me it's not a big deal so I grabbed these because these were the only two in this one but when I went back I saw that they had another color 
and I grabbed the other color for my daughter. So this one is, is it's um, it says eyelash with case and mirror. Um, it holds five pairs of eyelashes. No, one, two, three pairs of eyelashes sets. So one, two, and three. That's the mirror up there. I don't know how it's, it looks. Um, I should open it for you guys to see. Um, and I just liked it because it was cherries. It is pink. So it gave me Valentine's Day vibes. It just gave me so much Valentine's Day vibes. So let me just open this one so you can see it. Okay. So let's see how great this is. So far, I can't even hardly open it, but okay. Oh, this is nice. This is nice, okay. Look at that, guys. This is so nice. The mirror is gorgeous, okay? It's big enough for me to actually do this. And I can actually do my own eyelashes because the way I do my eyelashes is that I look down and then I just do it this way. So this gives me the way I want, I need to do it, which is great. Um, and like I said, it holds three three sets of eyelashes so perfectly extended and the the picture on the product doesn't even does it justice so that thought that was cool and like i said it is pink and this is it is so efficient if you travel i keep a lot of cases to my um my eyelashes and some of them aren't even cases it's just the box and i just put them right back in the box because i don't have nowhere to put them so this is actually very great kudos to you dollar tree and that is from Sassy and Chic, okay? And that is a Dollar Tree brand. So for $1.25, I definitely recommend that. And I definitely, if you are a beauty beautician or you're a uh, traveling um, makeup artist and you sometimes need somewhere to put your stuff and compact your stuff, that is an amazing place to do. And that is an amazing um, item to have in your, you know, in your compact. So just saying. Um... So, oh, my daughter's school gives out these for girls um, when they're on their time, when they don't have anything. And I found it so weird because they used to give us one, but they never been, they never was very that discreet. It comes in a box. She already had opened this one just so she could show me. So um, it comes just one. It comes in a sealed box. They have to open it this way. It comes in a sealed little box. It tells you what it is. And this is how big it is. Uh, and honestly, I feel like that is actually great. And it's very efficient because, you know, it's a box. You can put the box facing down and no one will know what it is. So, you know, it's very con um, conservative and very, very um, discreet for young ladies in, in junior high school and in high school. That's kind of cool. So yeah, and she actually was very proud to tell me that I could use it. So she gave me the two for I can use it as an example. Um, so the next items, I'm sorry. The next items are, let me show you. I'm sorry, I'm also watching like something on TV, so I'm like so out of it for a second. Um, and I didn't want to wait till um, it was over to actually do this, so I wanted to actually do this now. So, um, yeah. So this is, I don't know what brand this is. I don't know if this is a Dollar Tree brand. No, this is actually a New York City brand. This is distributed by Centric Beauty, LLC. Um, this is a company based in... Um, based and designed in the U.S. And it's it has the address. It is on Fifth Avenue in New York. So it is located where I am from. Um, this is called Taste squad they're all called taste squad but their name of the brand it's called tasty beauty 
Um, and I just loved it because it gave me 90s. It gave me 90 vibes, okay? So, um, <coughs> it just gave me 90 vibes. I don't know why, because of the way. It gave me Save by Their Bell vibes, okay? So, that's a better way to put it. So, um, just because of the designs and everything, I'm not sure if I'm going to give all of them to my daughter or if I'm just going to give her some. So, this one is uh, called Passion Fruit Punch. And it says Tasty Squad, yeah. It says Sweet Flavor Lip Balm. So that one is that. Okay, I just love the way it is, like a little frap. Or a little frozen, oh, one of those frozen big gulps, you know? So yeah, um, when 7-Eleven was like coming in it with the big gulp, so yeah. And then this one says, oh my God, babe. And this one is Mocha Latte. Um, and it's zero point, let me see how many ounces, 0 0.14 ounces, both of them. And this is a mocha latte lip balm. The other one was, yeah, they were there. I think they're all lip balms. So this one is so cool because it looks like a little coffee mug. And then it says, oh my God, babe. So I, I thought that was cool. Then there was this one that says, Toofy Tutti, tutti Fruity, sorry, Tutti Fruity, and it looks like a little donut, and it says, don't worry, be happy, and I saw this on the way out, because they didn't have it with the other groups, and they didn't have any more of the donuts, so I'm pretty sure these went faster than the rest of them, and I was not surprised, because they're so cute, and the way it looks, it just looks, it's, it's adorable. It, it reminds me of The Simpsons. Like, it just gives me Simpsons vibes. So, um, then this one right here, it says Over the Moon, and it's Blueberry Blast, and it's a hippie alien. I thought that was cool. A hippie alien. Then the other one is Awesome, and it's a candy bar crunch. Uh, lip gloss and it says candy bar crunch is the flavor so I just thought these were cool I I really thought those were cool so the alien is a 0 0.05 ounce actually and so is this one so it's a little bit smaller than the other ones and the donut is only 10 ounces so 0 0.10 ounces so yeah um, then moving on to more Easter items. So, um, I found these decorations of Easter bunnies. It is, uh, they're felt Easter bunnies and they come in these two colors. Actually, I think they had a purple as well. I think they also had like a purple. I'm sorry. I had to adjust my lighting. I think they had purple little ones, but I don't see why they have to have purple because bunnies are not purple i don't understand the blue either but i understand to to have the two different versatile of boy and girl so you can have and you can you know specify as a boy or a girl type of basket if you're gonna make use these for easter basket decorators um i get that but the purple unless it's because you you know little girls like purple but then make green because if you got blue make green you know what i mean um, but just saying so yeah so you got the little pink and you got the blue and then you have imagine the little purple okay the purple was like a little light like this one um but yeah so i grabbed that then they had these decorative um bunnies that look like little gnome gnome bunnies and I grabbed it because these will be great for, especially that with the other little bunny butts, like the little cotton tail and everything else. These will be great for a garland. And these bring six in a pack. And the other ones also bring six in a pack. Um, and they have the little bunny on the side so you can see. Um, they also brought these, which I also thought these would be amazing for a garland. And now this one I grabbed all the colors from because I said to myself, C 
see, I can't pass up on this pattern because this pattern is amazing and I just couldn't, I just couldn't pass it up. So that is just what it was. Um, these are felt fabric um, garment, gingham, sorry, felt fabric gingham with bow bunnies, six pack, three different colors. You got the blue, the purple, and the pink. Guys, that is like so freaking stinking cute. Tell me not. You got the blue with the little blue bow. You got the purple with the little purple bow. And you got the pink with the pink. Now, I am going to probably use these for garlands. And not only for garlands, but I'm probably going to use them in corporate with my kids' Easter baskets. They are older. But I thought those were cute regardless. Even though I have a teenager, a pre, a, 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 a preteen, and a, another preteen. Um... <laughs> I have two preteens and a teen, so they're already older, and but I have a niece, so it's cute. So I can do that with their basket still, cause you know they'll 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 give it to the baby, so it's okay. <laughs> um, and then I found these decorative. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they're calling them, but they just says decor, Easter decor. Um, and I grabbed three packs because they bring three inside. Um, they're Easter eggs. I know that, but I just loved it because of the colors. I grabbed three of the same color. They had another pattern, but I didn't want those. They had like a light baby blue with a darker purple and a bright pink. And then they have one of light baby blue with a white and then a dark pink. So I definitely want those colors. So I kept more with the lighter colors where it was like the green, the purple, and the um, the, the cream color. So I grabbed three packs of those. These will be decorative around the house. Or I'm actually going to put these in a vase and just put them in there and decorate the vase inside with this inside of them and call it a day now again these are not um these are not all felt this is actually if you can see it is wrapped around a plastic so these are better quality they're not um they're not bad um they're last longer so it's not just a rope so it's um it's wrapped around the rope but it's not fully roped if that makes sense but yeah but once it's time for me to post all, put all of that up i will show you guys how that is um, and how that looks. Um, yeah, I went overboard with Easter stuff. I'm sorry, guys. But then I found... <laughs> and then I found these... These are a 12-pack of... Um, it doesn't show measurements at all. Oh, actually, yes, it do. They are measured 3.3 .3 by 2.3 inches big. So... Yeah, and these are green briars, so we all know that. And this one is by Crafter Square. It does have the bunny, so it is for Easter. It's 12 packs. And these are not clips. The You can put little clips on the back of them and make them into little clips and put them on a little, you know, a little garland on that too. Like that if you just want a plain wooden looking garland with bunny tails. And I thought this was cute. So you can add the little clips, you know, Dollar Tree sells the wooden clips. The little, um, you know, um, laundry pins. You can hot glue that sucker onto there and you can put them on anything and they'll tag them on to stuff and have little bunnies everywhere and that'll be great. You know, that, that's an idea right there. Like, you could do with that. <laughs> um, and then I bought these... Uh, um... Okay, I'm not going to knock that in all of them. Okay, so they have four different styles of these. 
and I forgot that I didn't grab the purple because I didn't like the purple. The purple was a very dark purple. It was darker than this um, purple on my sweater. So I didn't want anything too dark. I wanted to keep it very light. But I grabbed these um, trim pack. That's what they call trim packs. Um, it brings three sets of trims from Craft to Square. These are for Easter. There are three packs. Um, one is, is cut by 0 0.6. 75 inches by times one yard and then 0 0.8 inches by one yard and then 0 0.8 by one yard again um they're all cut to that length in all the packaging they all have three trim packs um in there uh three trim packs in there from across the square uh you have the basic swirl yellow then you got the chick and then then you got the little pom-poms here you got again the little swirl now that's a dark pink but i only took it because of the bunny and it matches the bunny that i already have with this pink over here that's the only reason why i got it and then you got the little pom-poms again and again it does have the same um look as the 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 felt fabric gingham so this is a little gingham on this as well i was thinking of maybe using that as a string and then i also got this one in orange i like the little strappies but i only got this one because of the orange trimming for the carrots this one I might incorporate on my table or in my tree for Easter. For Easter, um, These are great to incorporate in a tree if you're doing a tree for Easter. Um, that's why I grabbed those just in case and things like that. Then, oh my God, the last thing from Wednesday in this bag is finally coming up. So... I got these ribbons. Um, I grabbed two of each of the style um this one has the bunny's little booty out with in a little cart and he's with his little easter eggs and it says happy easter so i grabbed that one and this one is um 1.5 inches by 72 inches so that is two yards um and then if you really want to get technical it's six feet so it's a six feet ribbon. Um, it is a wired ribbon. So you can make basically do all of your bowls perfectly fine. Okay, with these. So this one has the little, you know, bunny on the little trail. And then this one has the bunny with the little headband with flowers. And it says Happy Easter as well. Again, it is six feet. It is two yards. It is the same measurements. I grabbed two of each. So do the math if you need it um need to uh, i thought these would be great to use for easter baskets to make the little bowls on the top and everything like that okay now that was that now moving on to today's bag oh my god guys i should have warned you guys to actually got something to drink because this is a long one <laughs> so sorry okay I know I got my little drink there. I'm going to spill it. But I got my little drink there. So today I finally grabbed the Drain Rooter. It's a dual ring grip. Wave design. Pulls hair and clogs easily. Triple barbs. Grabs more debris. It says wave design. Clears drain with more contact points. Says 18 inch reach goes deeper for tough clogs. Extends out when bent to hook more debris. Spike tip pierces through clogs. So I've had a clog drain upstairs in my bathroom for a couple of months now, and I've tried everything. I've done the um trying the lemon with um baking soda the vinegar with baking soda all of it i've tried it all and it doesn't work so i am trying 
this method now um, to see if this works. This says it's a core Pacific um, ink, Houston Texan. It is made in Taiwan. It is not a New York State or a China product, but is made in Taiwan. And it tells you how to use it. It says insert to drain, insert drain snake into. This is how long it is because I have to step back a little. See, this is very long. It says uh, insert drain snake into the drain. No need to remove stopper. Push the drain st snake into the drain until the handle is flush with the top of the drain. Slowly remove the drain the drain snake out to avoid any splashes. Okay, so gloves and a mask it is, uh, just in case. But I did get it because I I honestly would love to try this and see. And I see that it has curves and all of that. And ours in our bathroom upstairs, it is a curve like this. So it could probably just be stuck somewhere around here and an easy fix. So I grabbed that bomb. Then in the toy section for the doggies, I had to. I had to do it. I had to get it. Um, these are not um, made with ribbon. This is made with um, fabric. Fabric is a little bit better for dogs to digest and to break down. It's better for um, for the um, for the dog's digestive system. I definitely checked them, and they are cloths because this is how I know they're a cloth. I actually pulled it so I can show you guys that it's cloth and it's not a string. These are way better, way more durable, more stretchier um, for the dogs. And they're, called, they're dog toys. It's a one piece. Um, it doesn't tell you. It is a Greenbrier product, but it doesn't tell. And it's made in Canada. Wow. It's imported. Wow. Um, <laughs> it doesn't tell you... Um, like what kind of like fabric it is but yeah i thought this was cool so and it just has this little plastic here just in case you want to have like a little bit of grip from the dog so you know you have that grip there so i thought that was cool so i grabbed this one and it has the uh, different multiple colors for my girl dog and then I grab this other one that's a little bit longer. It has more string. It's more um, flexible. And I thought this was so cool. And again, it's fabric. It's not. A lady saw it and she said, oh, I didn't know about the strings um, hurting the dog's insides and stuff like that. I says yes, because it's harder for them to digest. And not only that, it wraps around their organs and it's not really good for them. And it's a long story, but it's not it's not good for them to digest. So I got her this one and this one. It's just you can hear it's just the fabric. Um, I thought this was so great and it's probably leftover fabric from other stuff and clothing and they used it to make a dog toy. I thought that was amazing. So again, I got the colors that look like for girls. It has pink, black, red, yellows, um, purples, different kind of blues, uh, different types of pinks and coral and just multicolored so it can go for her. So I thought this was cool. And my husband was actually looking for dog toys where he can play tug of war with her. So now he can and he doesn't have to worry about it. So I thought that was cool. Okay. I'm kind of running out of space on my couch, guys. <laughs> like, as you can see, I'm running out of space here. Um, then I found another makeup uh, eyelash kit. Like I said, this one, I got it. It was purple with the girl little, you know, the eyebrows and the eyelash. I thought that was cool. Um, to be honest, I now regret not getting the other one because this is kind of, this one's kind of cool. You know, you got the cherries, you got this, so that was kind of cool. But I uh, just grabbed the one. So, yes. 
found that very amazing so i grabbed that for my for my my daughter um then you guys remember i hauled before the mrs myers uh clean day scented wood bead diffuser well, I found another one. The When I went on Wednesday, they had a whole shelf full of these. When I went today, this was the only one I found. So, yeah, I grabbed it. So, I grabbed this. So, I thought that was cool to find because I can now put one of these in the bathroom on um, on the shelving. I actually want to get shelves for my bathroom to put um, the smell good stuff. And that way I don't have to. And I like a little succulent. Make it really nice and cute and stuff like that. I'm sorry. My husband's actually texting me. Um, sorry. So I, I grabbed that so it could smell good the bathroom. So I actually want to show you guys something else that I found for Easter. Um, I grabbed four because again, I have a niece. So I grabbed four of these and these are pre-baked cookies already. Um, these are Baker's Field now, I love it there because I used to live in Bakersfield in California. I don't know if that's why it's named like that. Um, it doesn't say where it's from, honestly. Oh, oh yeah, it's from California. So, it's Bakersfield products. So, yeah, it is, it is from... Um, it is from Bakersfield. It is from um, California. So that, I, I love that. It is made in Mexico. So that's not even from over here. So that's even better. It expires on 1223. But anyways, that is not why I bought it. I bought it because it says Easter cookie decoration kit. It says one cookie kit includes icing ready to use sugar pearls and sprinkles 2.8 ounces guys you know i had to get four they these they all the boxes had the same colors had the same designs in the back so i had to get four i had to get four and it shows you the sprinkles in the back the, the icing and how the cookie looks so i grabbed four for my kids for easter okay yes i did Yes, I did. I grabbed those kits. Um, they didn't bring the Christmas kits like I saw other places bring. So when I saw Easter, I said yes. I didn't see Valentine's. I have not seen one for Valentine's. And I said, okay, if they're not going to bring one out for those days, they have. if I see Easter, I'm going to grab it. I saw it. I grabbed it. I paid for it. And, you know, for a dollar twenty-five, I don't find that bad because you can... Do something with your kids and it's something fun at the same time other than just exchanging gifts, you know, and just doing that and then just expecting something all the time. They let them let them be creative. Let their minds flow. Let them do things that's creative for them to be uh, more open to things and more cultural things when they get older. Okay. Um, that being said, I also found this uh, car auto glade. It only has, this one's only a three pack and this one says Hawaiian breeze. So I grabbed that one and this one smells amazing. And then I also found these peds. I also found these peds, uh, ladies, three pair. Um, ultra low cut size five to 10 shoe, shoe size. Um, now this is an expensive brand. I don't know the part exact price. Um, they had only two pairs of each one. 
I only grabbed one of each because I didn't need both pairs because my daughter really doesn't use these like that. So I use them when I wear like low shoes or like Converse's or my little, uh, or even my Vans. So these are good for those. Um, uh, one is actually, they're actually, no, they're ultra low cuts on both. So one just has a different size of shoe size. That's what confused me. One is for size five to 10 shoe size and the other one is from four to seven shoe size. They both bring um, three pairs. One is a lighter brown and one is a darker, like darker, darker brown. So yeah. So I grabbed those. Then I grabbed two packs of these. Now one of these is going to be for my daughter and one is going to be for me. These are from size, shoe size from 5 to 10. These are also pads. These are just different styles. These are low sport liners. These are great also again for Converse's for their, um, for any type of low cut shoe. Um, but these are more easier to use because these are breathable. These are a mesh um, material. Again, these are more than $1.25 and these come in, this one's only came in these colors. They only had this color available, so I grabbed that. And again, when you see things like this, you're not gonna find them anywhere cheaper because everywhere else is more. Um, grab them up because even at Walmart, these are more, especially for a three pack. I think if I'm not mistaken, I've seen them online once for $5.99 or $6.99, something like that, so yeah grab them when you see them um a lot of name brand stuff will be coming to dollar tree now that a lot of stores will be going out of business soon um or they're downsizing in company size so a lot of their warehouses are going to be overstacked so they have to give them to somewhere else and they have to sell them somewhere else so that's why they're coming to dollar tree um that is just the knowledge that i know and that I have read and I have seen throughout um, being on YouTube and being a Dollar Tree follower and, you know, having their newsletter come to me all the time. So, yeah. Um, then I saw these and I had to grab these. I'm so sorry. Um, my mother is going to be excited because she's been looking for them as well because I've asked her for a few things. And... Um, she needed these for that to be done. So yeah. Mom, kiddos, you know what I'm talking about? I hope you know. Um, these are the paper bags. <laughs> they're paper bags. They're 30 in a piece. And they're um, five, one and a half inch by three and one eighth inch. I don't know. This, these maps, I, I can't do the maps. But, you know, these are just regular sandwich, you know, paper bags, you know, for lunch. But I grabbed four packs. Um, I'm actually going to give my mom two packs. And I'm keeping two packs because I have an event to do on um, Sunday. So I will be keeping two packs and giving her two of them. Um, so that way she can do something for me with them that I have been asking her to do for me for a while. And she knows how to do other stuff. So these are the ones without the handles. So mommy, I'll listen. Here you go. I got them. <coughs> and then um guys i saw them on the way out like almost on the way out so i said to myself oh yeah i have to i don't care oh yeah i'm going to um i got these foil balloons 22 inch air filled balloons inflate with enclosed straw do not not for helium use so i already have my valentine's day balloons but but i love when these come out i love when these come out because for a dollar 25 they're cheaper even than target okay <laughs> target don't even have these for a dollar 25 so i grabbed four of these 
Um, they didn't own, they didn't have a lot, so I only I grabbed those to have in stock for next year or just to have them for decoration purposes. You can make a banner because they do have the little string for it to the side to hang them. So if you want to make a banner with it, you can. You can make a garland with it, you can. Um, I think things like that is so amazing, and they do last. And you can take out the air and refill them, and they last okay because my daughter has one from last like maybe two years ago that i did one for her so yeah they last she actually had to pop it because she didn't know what else to do with it <laughs> but um yeah moving on um and i was at my dollar tree today as you can see and they had the canada dry ginger ale caffeine free two liters in stock not only did they have the original calendar dry okay not only did they have the original they had the cranberry ginger ale so of course i had to get two of each because why not <laughs> like so yeah i grabbed those um i know those will go in my house because those are ginger ale flavored um and they're they're soda, but they're not like I don't consider them a soda. I just consider them like a drink. So like a little, I like you guys like your sparkling water. That's like my sparkling water. I'm sorry, my bad. So and then I grabbed a few of these because I love these. I love these candies. These are the Al Albines World's Best, made in the U.S. Uh, sour 12 flavor gummy bears they're gluten free fat free and sodium free and if i'm not mistaken they were also before vegan so yeah and they say they're good till next year of april 21 so that's not bad and it says cherry strawberry mango lemon pineapple orange green Apple, green apple, watermelon, pink grapefruit, lime, and blue raspberry and grape. Those were all the flavors that they have. So, yeah. These are amazing, and they're not a dollar twenty-five anywhere either else. So, that's why I grab them when I see them as well. So, guys, that is my whole haul. That was a lot. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram at Just a Crafter, which is just underscore the underscore crafter. So J E S underscore T H E underscore C R A F T E R. Okay. And make sure to like and subscribe everything okay my husband just popped support in, the guys. working man and buy more <laughs> treats hashtag that oh my god my husband is that is the first time he comes out of my videos guys um take it as how y'all want to take it <laughs> but yeah um support the cause i guess yes um please follow and like and subscribe and please let me know what you liked about the video thanks and what you've seen in your local Dollar Tree and have not seen.